Hello, DIY Dynamos. Got a leaky pressure relief valve on your Renai tankless water heater? You're in the right place for a fix. Today, I'll walk you through the steps to troubleshoot and solve that drip, keeping your system safe and dry. As always, safety is our top priority, so let's tackle this together with care and confidence. A leaking pressure relief valve can be a sign of too much pressure building up in your system, or it could simply be a faulty valve. Either way, we'll cover how to address both. Ready to stop that leak? Let's dive in. Step one, begin by turning off your water heater and allowing the water inside to cool down. Safety first, folks. Step two, check the pressure. Use a pressure gauge on a nearby faucet to check the water pressure in your home. It should generally be between 50 and 75 PSI. If it's too high, you may need to adjust your pressure regulator or install one if you don't have it. Step three. Next, let's test the pressure relief valve. Carefully lift the test lever on the valve to allow some water to flow out. If it's still leaking after you release the lever, it might be time for a replacement. Step four, if you've determined the valve is faulty, you'll need to replace it. First, shut off the water supply to your heater and drain any excess water from the system. Step five, remove the old pressure relief valve by unscrewing it with a wrench. Be sure to have a bucket handy for any residual water. Step six, with the old valve out, it's time to wrap the threads of your new pressure relief valve with Teflon tape to ensure a good seal. Step seven, screw in the new valve, secure it snugly with your wrench, but don't over tighten, you want it just right. Step eight, turn the water supply back on and check for leaks. No drips, great job. Step nine, finally, power your water heater back on. It's ready for action, and you've successfully fixed the leak. And that's how you fix a leaky pressure relief valve on your Rinai tankless water heater. Regular maintenance can prevent these issues, so keep an eye on that valve and test it every few months. If this video saved you from a call to the plumber, why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more home repair hacks? Got a question or another fix you'd like to see? Comment below and let's keep the conversation flowing. Until next time. Happy fixing.